let me ask you about Hallelujah for a moment. Sure. Because it's been an interesting year for Hallelujah. If it if it hadn't been a song that uh, Canadians and people around the world have been singing versions by Jeff Buckley, Rufus Wainwright, Katie Lang, it took on a whole new energy. A song that you wrote in 1984, this past Christmas, where it appeared number one and number two on the UK right. bestseller charts, and your version, these were cover versions, and your version was also in the top 40 from 1984. What did you make of that? Um, well, th there was a certain sense of, well, I, I, I was happy that the song was, was um, being used. Uh, of course, there were certain ironic and amusing uh, sidebars you know, because the record that it came from, which was called Various Positions, that record Sony didn't put, wouldn't put out. They didn't think it was good enough. It had songs like Dance Me the End of Love, uh, Hallelujah, If It Be Your Will, but it wasn't considered good enough for the American market. It, was, it wasn't put out. So there was a certain sense of, a mild sense of revenge that arose in my heart, but uh, uh, I don't, I, you know, I, 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 was, I was happy about it, but it's, I, I was just reading a review of uh, a movie called Watchmen that uses it, and the reviewer said, can we please have a moratorium on Hallelujah, you know, in, in movies and television shows. <laughs> You know, I kind of feel the same way. <laughs> I was going to say to which you placed a stern phone call and said, no, let's keep it going. But it's an interesting, the song kind of transcends musical genres. It's not a, it's not a typical pop song, uh, but it doesn't, not only does it not seem to go away, it seems to grow in its popularity with each year. I know it's one of your favorite songs. You've said so. I, I like the song. I think it's, well, a, it's a good song. But I, I mean, I, th I, think that, I think too many people are singing. I, I think people ought to stop singing it for a little while. What is the magic of Hallelujah? I don't know. Uh, you know, you're, one is always trying to write a, a good song. And like everything else, you put in your best effort, but you can't command the consequences. So... It took a long time. The, uh, the song was written. I thought. I think the song came out in in eighty three or eighty four. And then the only person who seemed to recognize the song was Dylan, and he was he was doing it in, in concert. Nobody else recognized the song until quite a long time later. I think. When was Jeff Buckley's? In the nine in ninety two. Ninety two. So it's almost uh, ten years later. Uh, I knew I knew his father very well, Jeff Buckley. I was in the room when when Katie Lang sang it at the uh, Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. That that really that really touched me. Do the songs ever? Do they feel like possessions in the sense that is there ever a a, a version of somebody? working with your writing that, that you don't appreciate, or you sort of say? Very, very rarely does that happen. Uh, I, I'm not sure it has ever happened. Uh, you know, I, I had a very modest career for most of my life, and uh, I was always happy when someone did one of my songs. So that overrode most of the critical, cons critical concerns I might have had. In fact, you know, my critical faculties went into suspended animation when someone would do one of my songs and I, I generally was just delighted when anybody, and I still feel that way. Leonard, in 2001, you told a story of uh, your affection for going and watching in New York, watching 82-year-old Alberta Hunter yes, uh, yes. sing love songs. That was great. And you said at the time, I love to hear an old singer lay it out and I'd like to be one of them. That's right. You still I, aspire I to that? Will. Yes, I, I would like to be uh, eighty. She was around eighty-two, I think. Yes, I, I would love to hear me at eighty-two. <laughs> you say you hope to hear yourself at eighty-two. What do you What do you hope to sound like at eighty-two? Uh, uh, Alberta Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your model, Leonard Cohen. It's a, a great pleasure. 
to get so to sit much. here with you. Thank you again for inviting so us much. into your home. You're most welcome. Did we get anything that is uh, 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 interesting? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's great. Lovely. Because if we didn't, let's go on. Oh, we'll, we'll have to go on. You'll go on. <laughs> I mean, we might get something interesting. <laughs>